Hello, my name is Jennifer Boyson, a senior in civil and environmental engineering. This presentation is about my experience with the summer undergraduate research and engineering program. I've been studying with Matt Fadden, a PhD student, and Professor Jason McCormick about the bending behavior of hollow structural sections under cyclic loading. To begin, I will start with some background information about hollow structural sections, or HSS. HSS begin as steel sheet, which are then formed through a series of rollers. Once the desired shape is formed, the seam is welded together. Why is researching HSS important for seismic applications? HSS are already in use for ordinary moment frames or structures less than eight stories. HSS are strong and light, are easy to fabricate, are uniform, which allow for predictable design performance, have high torsional stiffness for facade attachment, are architecturally appealing, and above all, are cost effective, which equate to savings in fabrication, shipping, and construction. My summer has been made up of three major components. Finite element modeling with a program called Abacus, working in the structures lab in Gigi Brown, and post-test data analysis. I created a model in Abacus to simulate our test setup in the lab. The actuator is attached to the pin in the lower left corner of the model, lower right corner of the model, and the base beam is assumed to be fixed. The simulations give us working numbers so we know what to expect in the lab. For example, this is the data from HSS of dimensions 8 by 4 by 1 quarter inch thick. The plastic load is 10.2 kit, which gives us an, a ballpark range of what we expect to see. This figure is a normalized load displacement curve, which is respective to the published yield and ultimate strength. In the structures lab, I worked on fabricating, which involves marking steel to be cut or boring holes with a drill press. So I spent most of my time instrumenting the lab, the test setup, using equipment called OptiTrack, which tracks markers, which you see me here attaching to the beam, in three dimensions. Attaching strain gauges, which use current to determine small displacement, and potentiometers, which are not shown, to also gather additional information about displacement. Post-test, I did two things. Firstly, I measured slip using Excel to show how the fixed connection performed. As we can see here in the diagrams, deviations are less than one hundredth of an inch. Also, I calculated energy dissipation. Energy dissipation is how much energy a beam can absorb during an earthquake. Using Excel and MATLAB, I analyzed each cycle individually to, to determine how much energy total the beam can absorb. To conclude, this summer's work will go towards studies on HSS connections. I'd like to thank Professor McCormick and my graduate student, Matt Fadden, for an educational and comprehensive summer. Thank you. Okay.